talk, we've talked for years yes. about you will schedule anybody, yeah. anywhere, yeah. anytime, uh, and you still get to be the number one team in the country. Yeah. How does that work for you? The expectation you're always going to be playing the best competition. You're going to seek that out. Yeah. Well, you can't play at Maryland unless you're an incredibly um, tough competitor and unless you want the challenge of playing against the best and uh, and trying to get better from it, you know so I've always from day one here wanted to play a really really tough schedule I'm not worried about winning percentage or number of wins I want to make the team better put ourselves in position so that we can succeed uh, in postseason play so um, I think uh, last year worked out really well and if you look at the team the years that we've done really well it's been a similar story Early in the year, we'll play the best non-conference teams we can get. Through that, we may lose a few games, uh, but we'll get better and stronger and peak at the right time. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. In coming to the Jack Lynch uh, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly, and I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the big dog. The Jack Lynch Law Group. Yeah. What do you want for when you get playing on Major League Soccer Manual? How did you get that game scheduled? Well, it was a dream of mine to resuscitate the Maryland-Virginia rivalry, which I consider the best college soccer rivalry uh, in the history of college soccer. Uh, it's two of the winningest programs of all time. I think 10 titles between the both of us. Um, and uh, I think it's a game that uh, should be a celebration of, of college soccer. And I think Audi Field is an incredible venue. Uh, I, I just I still have visions one day we're going to sell the, sell the place out and, and really celebrate uh, not only two great programs, but w what they mean in the college soccer world. Obviously, Johan has been like a big part of the team for like many years now, but Eric uh, hasn't gotten a ton of minutes. How have you kind of seen him in that like leadership role if he's getting the army this year? Well, if, if you just come to one practice or you see the way he interacts with the team, you see the energy that he has, you see the kind of support player he was last year, rotation player, um, you know, he, he is a true Maryland guy. Uh, and and um, you know, see such a positive attitude, and he, he works so hard. Um, he's one of the easiest guys to forgive when he makes a mistake because it's always because he's trying to do something. Um, so I, I think he's a terrific leader and a uh, great locker room guy, great guy on the field, um, and uh, really takes to heart everything that this program stands for.